Yeah. Only one body goes inside the. Yeah. Only one body goes inside the. Yeah. Yeah. I do what I want when I'm asking. I made it a habit for me just to have it. To please everybody, I think I would need 20 copies. But only one body goes inside the casket. Can I do minimum wage? Why am I so out of shape? Maybe because I don't go to the gym enough. But when I do, I be getting bucks. I never thought about giving up. But I'll give it up if you rob me. I know you gotta pay bills too. So I don't care what the cars be. My nigga Key off from Boston. But he never spilling the Tito's. Switch up the flow like I switch up my. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chef Vern, and we back with another video. And this is gonna be something new. This is gonna be called Chefing on a Budget. So I'm definitely about to go to the store. And let's say. For lunch, we gonna set the budget at fifteen dollars. I gotta spend fifteen dollars on whatever lunch I want to create, and I gotta at least be able to feed two to four people. So, you know how we get down. I'ma see y'all when I get to the store. So, I just pulled up to the market. I'm about to go in here and get these ingredients because there's no more point of waiting. I know I'm hungry. I know I'ma make y'all hungry. So, let's go get it. So as you can see, I'm back in the house and the total of everything, surprisingly, was only $15.69. I was only 69 cents over. That's better than nothing, I ain't mad, so it's time to get into it. We have the ingredients to make a delicious Monte Cristo, which is a French dish, which is basically ham and cheese on French toast bread, and it's real good. And we definitely gonna make a strawberry compote because I found some of these in the freezer. Now, this is a very simple dish. You first want to get your bread, however many sandwiches you want. You want to get your cheese. Me personally, I use Havarti, but you can use Swiss, Gruyere, American, whatever cheese on your mind. And personally, as well, I use Polish ham, but you can use any kind of ham that you have in your refrigerator. We have our frozen strawberry, cinnamon stick, nutmeg, honey, water to make our strawberry compote. Now it's time for the French toast batter, which is just eggs, milk, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, a little bit of salt, sugar, things to give it some flavor to make it taste like French toast. Our strawberry compote is nice and thick, like a nice syrup. And you wanna cook that bad boy just like some French toast and it's gonna melt and it's gonna be so, so delicious. There you have it, the Monte Cristo, the perfect sandwich. Crispy, sweet, salty, savory, everything in one bite. There you have it, Monte Cristo, a very inexpensive and fast meal. You for real, for real, it took me about 10 to 12 minutes to do the whole thing. But I need to see what y'all gonna do with this Monte Cristo. I need to, for y'all to get in the kitchen and tell me if it's good or not. And you already know it's your boy Chevron. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chef Vern, and we back with another video. And this is gonna be Chefing on the Budget Part Two. And if you ain't seen the first one, I'm gonna need you to go watch that before you even watch this video. Uh, man, that's funny. <laughs> it's called Part Two because I did it in the same day, but there will be more Chefing on the Budget. So we're about to head to the market, and you already know what's about to go down. Let's get it. As you can see, I'm back in the house. Mission complete. Total, $16.78. Man, you can't get no better than that. You ain't spending no money to eat some good food. Let's get to it. First things first, you wanna oil your potatoes and roast them for about an hour. Take your fresh Brussels sprouts. You wanna wash them off a little bit because they can be dirty. You wanna cut the root off and just cut them in half because we gonna blanch these. You want to just rough chop these shallots, then you want to begin to blanch your Brussels sprouts. You want to get them nice and tender, so all we're doing is adding flavor to them. So you want to saute your shallots and your garlic, season them bad boys, and get to cooking. No matter what kind of steak you have, make sure you pat it dry. Season it. Make sure that thing is seasoned. Sear it on high heat until you get a nice golden crust on that bad boy. So you really just wanna scoop all the insides out of the potato and put them into a bowl and really make mashed potatoes. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, heavy cream, butter, 
mozzarella cheese, you know, for the extra feel for it. And you want to just boil them until that nice top is golden brown.